Hello and welcome. I'm Eckert Sager and this is World Business. We are coming to you this week from Kazakhstan's capital, where the Astana Economic Forum takes place. Like many emerging markets, Kazakhstan is recovering strongly from the global economic downturn at a time when developed countries continue to struggle. The view of delegates at this event is that this greater strength must be recognized. Astana, Kazakhstan's 12-year-old capital, is at the geographic center of Eurasia. And with the center of economic gravity shifting east, so does the influence of this young city, which hosted over 3,000 participants from 68 countries for the third Astana Economic Forum, including three Nobel Prize winners. In an open letter to G20 leaders, the forum offered ways to achieve global economic stability, calling for an improved balance of interest between the developed and developing world. In his keynote address, the president of Kazakhstan, Nursultan Nazarbayev, called for a new model to sustain stability of the markets. The global system of regulation and monitoring of financial markets must become the core. This present crisis became a serious test for us, but thanks to timely and a continuous strategy of economic modernization, we emerged with honor. Delegates warned that the global recovery is overshadowed by unprecedented anti-crisis measures, which have led to country defaults, stagnation of bank credit, unemployment and inflation. Kazakhstan itself has weathered the economic crisis well. After posting modest growth of 1.3% last year, the country grew more than 8% for the first five months of 2010. Kazakhstan is really dependent on the global economy, development of the global economy. And we will try to present our view on the future development. And we want to be uh, heard by the G20 as well. And while the debt crisis is absorbing the Eurozone and the US is overhauling its financial reform bill, Kazakhstan is looking back on an orderly bank restructuring program. The conference highlighted the fact that Kazakhstan's survival and revival post-crisis is very relevant to the ongoing reorganization of US and European banks. Marcia favali Tatar is the international advisor to the Prime Minister responsible for the bank restructuring. She says the success is due to its homegrown strategy of burden sharing, devised internally by Kazakhstan. A key decision in having a burden sharing approach was exactly not to burden the sovereign with additional debt. And because we were not out there uh, raising money in inopportune times, the government was able to then uh, completely participate in the recovery of the commodity cycle. And we're seeing that in the GDP growth of the country. Countries such as Italy, Ireland and Greece kind of... Uh, this successful restructuring, where the investors become partners by providing them tools to recoup their losses, led some delegates to suggest it as a case study for debt-burdened Western economies. One could argue that they've done a better job. I, mean, they, they've, uh, I, mean, I think it's very important in bank restructuring. We all recognize the fact that, that uh, the shareholders, the creditors, uh, particularly unsecured creditors, should, should pay part of the bill. Uh, and Kazakhstan has, uh, could, could be an example for other countries. Ratings agency Fitch has already raised Kazakhstan's outlook to stable. And the International Monetary Fund says the country offers an incredibly attractive prospect in the medium term. Of course, challenges abound, including diversification away from natural resources and regional tensions following the uprising in Kyrgyzstan. But per capita GDP in this resource-rich country has already risen tenfold over the last decade as Kazakhstan continues its progress towards becoming a fully developed country by 2030.